Foreign Minister, you know that even before there was Al-Qaeda or Osama bin Laden or 9-11, the world was focused because of the original Taliban government on the cruelty and the complete disregard for women in Afghanistan. This has been an issue for nearly 30 years now, um, or at least 20 years, in, um, in, in Afghanistan. Does Qatar care enough about women's rights to really hold the Taliban's feet to the fire? Uh, Afghanistan is not surrounded by countries that are known for their respect of women's rights. Do you at least have enough care about this to really make them accountable on this particular issue? Well, definitely it's, it's very important for Qatar and it's unacceptable for us to see any mistreatment for the women in Afghanistan and cannot be also tolerated to be to see Afghanistan transferring to a breeding ground of for, for terrorists and ter terrorist organization. We've been advocating for this, urging for this, and we, we are drawing the example as state of Qatar is a Muslim country with, this, with an Islamic system, and we have the, num uh, the numbers of women participating in the government workforce are more uh, uh, than the men, and also in the, in the higher education, we have more women than, than men. And we are showing them that these are examples for a Muslim country that can progress with the active participation of women, and there is nothing in our religion preventing them from going to school or, or letting them just staying at home, which is not acceptable at all for us in the state of Qatar. Can I just ask you now about Qatar's, it seems to be relatively new strategic power. Not only did you host the, 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 the negotiations with the Trump administration and the, uh, and the Taliban, but you don't need me to remind you that under the Trump administration, they did try to blockade you. There was a sense that an anti-Iran alliance between Saudi Arabia, Israel, the UAE, the Trump administration needed to isolate Qatar. That's obviously come full circle and you're anything but isolated. How do you feel about that? I mean, do you feel like you've been vindicated? What, what do you feel? Well, actually, what happened uh, in 2017 and when the Gulf, when the Gulf crisis started, uh, it, has, uh, it has affected the progress of the GCC overall and it has a, a, a greater impact on the, on, the bigger on the wider region. And we have seen that uh, the policies of isolation or, or uh, crisis without uh, engagement and dialogue uh, won't uh, lead anywhere. And we have been very positive and constructively engaging with other GCC partners and we are very happy uh, to see the progress after Al Ula uh, summit and the restoration is coming back to the Gulf and we have seen a desire and willingness from the other uh, uh, GCC members to restore uh, the GCC and Qatar will be of course uh, engaging positively in that front. On Iran matter, we see that Iran is part of our region. Iran is our neighbor. We are surrounded, as it is with Saudi, with UAE, and, and uh, uh, other Gulf countries. Iran is, is part of that neighborhood. And we always encourage all the, all the parties and all the entire neighborhood to, start, to engage together and to, have, uh, uh, to stabilize our region by engagement, by dialogue, and to try to agree at least on, on security principles that we ensure that there is no uh, any issues uh, that can face us can deteriorate uh, our uh, security, uh, security situation. Gulf countries has been for a long time the stabilizing factor in our region and we need to remain as a stabilizing fa factor and remain stabilized and this will only but happen by dialogue. Can I switch to a completely different issue but one that much of the world, the, the, the football soccer loving part of the world is really eager, and that is the World Cup that will be held in Qatar in about a year from now. Um, but rights groups, migrants groups have consistently raised this real problem that, that so many migrant workers have been killed and have died in unsafe situations. And they complain that your government is not doing what it pledges to do, either keep these workers safe or even investigate what's happening. Why not, Foreign Minister? This has been going on for a long time. And surely it's a blot on your copybook. Well, uh, Christian, uh, I think that uh, what ha the progress that's been achieved uh, by Qatar uh, in the front of uh, labor rights and human rights in the last 10 years 
is uh, something ahead of the entire region. And uh, all the reforms in laws and the government engagement in that front with different uh, international organizations and NGO has been very actively engaging. The ILO has acknowledged all the progress that being achieved by Qatar. Unfortunately, there was a lot of mis disinformation and misreporting about the facts and the numbers. Uh, uh, one life for anyone who's living in Qatar, it matters a lot for the government. And we, we, cannot, we cannot leave it like this without any accountability. And the government is launching always, if there is any case of death, uh, uh, an investigation about it. And they held the parties accountable. In fact, with the numbers that being published about the death on the World Cup, uh, sites is misleading and the numbers uh, the number of deaths that related to the World Cup projects in the last 10 years has been only for three labors so uh, uh, I think that those misleading information sometimes unfortunately uh, uh, being used uh, for for reporting is misleading the the public opinion about the situation over there so we have been very open inviting everyone to come to do and to see the progress there themselves and we are proud with the progress that we have achieved. Okay, very and quickly, also, we are always looking at ourselves to improve I, I have <laughs> as well if there are any conditions that we are. Good. Well, I just wanted to ask you about the improvement thing. I'm literally running out of time. But it is still an issue. I just want a yes or no answer. Would you, you know, reopen or go deeper into an investigation if that was called for now? Definitely, if there, are, if there is anything require any investigation okay. by the government, the government taking the full responsibility for this and will do it.